Hi, this is Paul Schemmel. I'm here at the Pennsylvania State Farm Show. Uh, this is the 104th year. We're really delighted to be here, and I'm delighted to be here with Secretary of Agriculture Russell Redding. Secretary Redding's a neighbor to us over in Adams County, so great to, great to be here with you this morning, great Secretary. Great happy New Year, happy Farm Show. Yeah, thank you. Happy yeah. New Year and happy Farm Show as well. Uh, just a few things. Uh, the dairy industry has really suffered a lot over the last few years, uh, but I know uh, this year with the Farm Bill and some other actions by the state, uh, I think things uh, are starting to maybe turn the corner. You can tell me, Franklin County's second largest dairy county, uh, what's happening in the dairy industry and the Farm Bill. Yeah, let, let, let me first say thank you for, for all your support of agriculture, and it's a real pleasure to work with you. Uh, we had a successful year. 2019 with the passage of the Pennsylvania Farm Bill, which has some, you know, uh, has a lot in it. One piece of that is for dairy. Uh, very proud of it. We've got a chance to sort of make some direct investment in dairy processing on the farm. We did 21 projects last year, and we'll, we'll do some more here in, 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 the, in 2020. But it really is uh, reassuring to me to see the, uh, the response from the dairy farmers directly in what they want to do and how they uh, are taking full advantage of adding some value of the farm uh, to their dairy dairy products. Uh, dairy uh, is, is such a critical piece of PA agriculture, you know, and for the last couple of years, you've heard it every place you go, and, and I as well, uh, it's just been really tough. I mean, the margins have not been there. Um, we're seeing an improvement. We entered the new year here in a, in a much, much better place than we were a year ago. Outlook looks strong for 2020. It doesn't make up for three years of negative margins, right? Yeah. But at least the, it, it sends the signals that, that the market's changing. Some of that supply stuff that we were worried about uh, globally in, in the U.S. has sort of worked off. Um, you know, we've got to keep our eye on it, though. I mean, we still have the consumer sort of thinking about alternatives, and total dairy consumption is up, fluid milk consumption is sort of down and, and trending down. Unfortunately, that's what we've got to focus on to bring the innovation back, bring consumers back to that. Uh, but strong believer that given its benefits, uh, health benefits, community benefits, that uh, dairy is still uh, important to us and everything we can do legislatively and from the executive branch uh, for dairy is to our advantage uh, in total, but also just for the dairy industry as well. We'll definitely keep our eye on that industry. Yeah. It's critical to the state and certainly to my county. Um, also talking about farms, uh, you know, literally looking ahead, one of the things a lot of farmers in my area talk about, they're concerned about, is what's going to be the future. Who's going to take over the farms? Uh, where are the employees going to come from? I know you've been working with the Secretary of Agriculture, I'm mean Secretary of uh, Education, uh, to work on sort of developing that labor force and also working now with the new program with farmers on succession planning and, and helping to prepare for the future. So tell us a little bit about what you and the Department of Agriculture are doing in that. Right? Yeah, thank you. And, and I just, you know, second to sort of the dairy question, uh, we, we get the workforce question, right? Everybody's worried about where is this workforce coming from? And that could be the temporary labor that is part of the, you know, the congressional discussions that are playing out. But there's also the, the very basic question of the succession plan for the farm, or right? Uh, that's that's part of this workforce. And yeah, these all are family the, businesses. They're family businesses. And like any other family business, they have to have a future. Right, and and it's about uh, you know hopefully there's somebody in that family who wants to do it, and, and if we can support them with uh, an apprenticeship program, with some training, and Penn State Cooperative Extension does a great job and their extension education outreach, but we're also really mindful that all of those other supporting jobs, from a conservation technician to, you know, the service and supply, the folks at, uh, you know, from Forester Farm Equipment is a great example, where they joined in to work with the Department of Agriculture on a trained service technician to make sure folks can service their equipment. That's the type of work of really getting in and understanding what those needs are and then trying to, to make sure that our state programs sort of respond to it. And with the Department of Education is looking back into the educational system to say, are people even aware that agriculture is a place for meaningful employment? Yeah. And if they are, what do they know about it? And that's been part, we're flanked by a couple of uh, flyers here, if you will, that talk about technology and science and raise the visibility. And that's partly what Farm Show does, right? It gives us a chance to talk about it. Yeah, I know in Franklin County, the, the county uh, Farm Bureau has been doing a lot to try to introduce students, yeah, kids that maybe aren't involved, their families aren't involved in the agricultural industry to say, look, there are jobs for you uh, in this industry. There's a future for you here, so. Yeah, and I think the, we, we heard yesterday at the Public Officials Day luncheon, you know, the gentleman from Philadelphia, and I, I appreciate him, 
because he's done something that really is unique in that inside of a city school system, talking about food and agriculture and using it as a platform to teach. We just need to keep doing that, and that's what the Commission on Agriculture, Education, and Excellence sort of allows us to do with the Department of Education is to you know, highlight the, the best programs in the state, what are the best practices, but also get to that sort of you know, elementary years um, to be, engage them, all right, to talk about, well, what does a career in agriculture even look like? So important, important work, but I really appreciate your support on the workforce and uh, really trying to understand what it looks like. And you've got a, an amazing sort of agricultural county yeah. there in Franklin. It's a great county. Yeah, thank you. Finally, invasive species, another thing I hear a lot about from farmers, actually, and others too, a lot of concern, not only spotted lantern fly, but tree beating and other things like that. So what's the Department of Agriculture doing to help, uh, you know, to help rid us of these, these really dangerous pests? Yeah, well, the, in 2014, you know, the, the spotted lantern fly showed up on Pennsylvania soil. You know, it's the first time in, in North America. So there's no sort of history here. Um, so we've had to sort of work from, from day one of understanding the, the biology of this pest, I mean, its behavior, its treatment. Um, a couple of years on, we're still fighting it. Right? We're, we're, we know a lot more about it. We've got 22 different research projects that are happening both globally and, and regionally here, but Penn State trying to really get to that broad-based control, which we don't have yet, yeah. right? But uh, we're, we're working hard at it, working in partnership with Penn State and Cooperative Extension and our, our PDA, but also our conservation districts and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. So. Where can people go to look for information on what they could do in regard to managing their own property? Or if they see or observe some of the signs of these these invasive uh, species. Yeah, you can go to two places. One, you can simply go to the Department of Agriculture, PA Department of Agriculture, um, and look up spotted lantern fly. It'll, in fact, it'll it'll come up on the front screen, uh, and also through Penn State University and Cooperative Extension has some wonderful outreach and education materials. Uh, but you bring up a good point that while we're parallel to figuring out the science of this thing. Uh, there's also things you, you can do as a homeowner, yeah. right? And if you do that, it helps us out a lot. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so go to the website, definitely take a look at that and support it in your property management. Yeah. Well, Secretary Redding, thank you so yeah. much. You're, our broadly, mine. You're, you're really our broadly respected by all, and uh, we appreciate the work that you do for Pennsylvania. Yeah. Honored thank to do you. it, and thanks for your partnership. All right, thank yeah, you. Thank you.